So I figure, okay, it's just one story. So I figure, let me go and read. Continue reading the Ramayana. And I come to Mahabali's story, whereby he sees earth and heavens from the gods and brought them under his subjection. There is a man getting the god under subjection. The truth is, one, due to the helplessness of the Hindu gods, they are not really God. The creator God we know is above all and is powerful above all. So you can't bring him under subjection, no one. Do you want to serve helpless gods? The only helpless God is the devil. So he turned tales and fables, lies and myth to deceive you and keep you blind. What about the Ganga story? How oceans were dug by men looking for a horse. What a fable to diminish the creator God and God creation. Who would spawn such a line? Only the devil can spawn such a line. To be believed by millions. As we say in the modern days, you have a wool pull over your eyes. Even the story of, of Valley, I kept reading and it became more and more of a fantasy. Who shows more honor and virtue than Rama, being a monkey? Rama hid and cowardly shot Valley, and when Valley asked, why? And informed Rama that he did everything according to monkey tradition. Only then Rama informed him that he considered him not a monkey, but have to treat him as a human being because of his boom. Only the devil will trick and lie to someone after the fact. Rama is not God, but you guessed it. Here is something God will always do. He will always tell you way beforehand what he expects of man, not make it up as he goes along. Because God knows the end before the beginning. He can predict everything with accuracy. So he do not need to.